So first thing first, I want to just uh, thank everyone for being here and taking their time out on a uh, Father's Day, Juneteenth weekend. And I want to say one thing off the bat. This is not a party activity. This is not the Democratic Party here. Um, I'm the chairman of the Democratic Party, but I also live right around the corner here in, in the city of Tonawanda. So to me, what this is about is um, a simple lack of leadership from the mayor of the city of Tonawanda to, to not have a plan in place to observe this holiday tomorrow properly. And I think what we saw this weekend on Friday was a little pressure from the media and others uh, pushed him to think about it, but he didn't want to talk to the media on Friday. And then a little pressure from a couple of the council members uh, pushed him to try to come up with some plan to have some sort of observance here tomorrow morning, but still not properly observe the Juneteenth holiday by closing the city, which I am here to ask him again to do tomorrow. Now he's saying labor issues, he's tried to talk to labor leaders. The previous mayor had a memorandum of understanding. He was able to work something out. Um, this mayor has not worked something out. And here we are the day before he should be observing it and we're not observing it properly. Now the city of Tonawanda school district is closed tomorrow. They sent out a beautiful text message laying out Juneteenth, why we celebrate, why it's so critically important and they sent out an email of the same, and they're closed. City court here at the city hall is closed tomorrow in observance of Juneteenth, yet we're still doing business as usual as the city of Tonawanda. So I'm here to ask the mayor again to close the city tomorrow and properly observe the holiday. I spoke with the president of the AFL-CIO this weekend he said any any labor leader uh, you know has not contacted us to say they'd be upset if their members were sent home and uh, had and observed a holiday um, there was uh, I spoke with the president of the NAACP this weekend who thought that you know it, it's admirable to be pushed to do a ceremony on Monday morning but he also believed like I do that we ought to fully observe uh, this holiday, uh, Juneteenth, and it should have been put in place by now. So with that said, you know, we've got a federal holiday, we've got a state holiday, the county is now observing it. I understand how to manage a, a, a large department. I'm the commissioner also, my other hat is the commissioner of the Board of Elections. We're closed tomorrow, but we're running an election. So we, our members, our, our election inspectors will be getting paid as it's a holiday. That's what ought to be happening in the city of Tonawanda, and that's the lack of leadership that we've seen with, with Mayor White. So I don't know if there's anyone else that wants to say a few words, but we're in a critical time in our nation's history where this holiday needs to be observed everywhere. I'm not sure where it isn't being observed, but I live in this city, and it's not being observed properly by the city leadership here. So. Um, you know, I don't know what kind of mutual aid was sent to the city of Buffalo when we've seen a horrific terrorist attack last month, but I think this would be a great way to show solidarity with our brothers and sisters in the city of Buffalo uh, when we've just had 13 of our brothers and sisters shot and 10 killed, um, to show them that we care and we believe in this and we want people to go home and celebrate it tomorrow. We want people to be home with their families. If they've got kids, their kids are home. It's important. It's important. It's more important than ever before. So I don't know if anyone else has any comments or if you want to, if you've got some questions or how are you? Jeremy, um, Jonathan Epps with Buffalo News. How can you not call this a democratic political, you know, thing, stunt, if... Well, wait a minute. Yeah, well, well, hold you on. just said stunt. <clears throat> but just to play devil's advocate, if you're Democrat... So the Buffalo News the, is the devil? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. If, if you know the, the mayor is Republican, you're Democrat. Are there any Republicans among the group here? I don't know. It, it, it you know, I, I guess I'm questioning how you can say it's not. Well, I didn't use any political resources <clears throat> to pull this together. I have not posted it on my political pages. I haven't posted it on the party page. And if there is a Democrat out there, yeah. like the Cheektowaga town, who is not observing it they should be held to the same accountability. 
they ought to be observing this as well. This is not a partisan issue. I, I, I'm calling on anyone in this county who is not observing this holiday to do the right thing and put a plan in place now moving forward. Specifically in our city, there's no reason why the mayor can't show leadership right now and close tomorrow. So will you be holding a, an event in Chictawaga too? No, I don't live in Chictawaga. Okay, so is your reason for holding it then just because you live here? I think we can make a difference in the city that I live in right here, right now. That's why I'm taking time away from my family on Father's Day to come down here. That's why all of these people are taking time away from their families because they believe in this issue. They believe that the mayor ought to do the right thing. Jeremy, I think a lot of people, especially in communities of color, have been saying, you know, it's everybody's saying they're standing in solidarity, but actions only if your words aren't matching your actions, then it really doesn't mean that you stand for what so many people have been fighting for. Um, and the recognition of Juneteenth as a national holiday, I think is absolutely one way to do that. How do you, what are your thoughts on that? On saying, you know, not doing this could possibly be interpreted as not aligning actions with words by not recognizing tomorrow and, and, and closing. That's exactly right. And I was born and raised in this city and I've lived here my entire life. We've not always been the most diverse city in the world here. Um, but now is the time to do the right thing. Now is the time you see, as I said, our school district is educating people about Juneteenth here in the city of Tonawanda. They're, they sent out a, 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 a message about why we're home on Monday, about why we're observing this holiday. I don't understand why the city, why the mayor and the city wouldn't do the same thing. By the way, we've got city elected officials uh that are on both sides of the of the aisle who've been invited to this and they're not here uh some of them are um, but they're all not here so i agree with you and that's why i'm having this conversation today it's more of a conversation about where we go forward than it is about calling someone out or being political as you said and it's certainly not a stunt because there's a lot more things i could be doing right now than than this but the, the fact is we've got to have a conversation you know some cowardly lunatic just came into our community and killed 10 of our brothers and sisters in May. And he did it because he was an uneducated psychopath who, who wasn't uh, taught about things like Juneteenth, about things like equality and what our nation is really all about. That's why this stuff is, is, is in a lot of ways symbolic, but it's critical going forward that we have this conversation and we do things like this. Well, I don't know, and I'm not here to bash the mayor. Uh, as you mentioned, he is, a, he is not in the same party as I am, but um, he, this was brought to his attention, at, at the, as far as I know, at the latest on Friday, maybe even sooner. Um, he sent out a release saying that he has been diligently working with the labor leaders all year long on this. Well, we're now a day away. So if you've been working on this all year, um, why isn't it put into place? Um, why don't we have a plan for tomorrow to properly recognize this holiday? Why did it take until less than 24 hours ago to say, okay, now we're gonna have a ceremony here in City Hall? Um, that's the questions I would have. You know, I, I don't know uh, that he's willing to stand up today and show leadership and close the city tomorrow, but he should. That's what we're here to ask him to do. Jeremy, has there been anything put in place for those who do choose to call off tomorrow and recognize it on their own? Are they going to be, have you had any conversations? But that very well might happen. You know, I don't know. I, um, I don't want to put any of our elected officials on the spot here with that question. But, you know, I would think if anybody wants to call in tomorrow that they wouldn't be penalized. And, and look, this is about common sense. You know, I, I don't know any labor leaders in this city that would say, well, if he closed the whole city down, you know, we're gonna grieve the mayor and it's gonna be really upsetting if we have to keep people home and treat it as a holiday. I, that just doesn't make sense to me. Um, but now we're 24 hours away, there, there could be issues now. But we've been talking about this now, allegedly, con, you know, he is saying all year long and we haven't come to a resolution. And to your earlier point, if this was taken seriously and if this mattered to him, this would have been taken care of already and put into place. Have you had any conversations directly with him? I haven't. As a, as a citizen? I haven't. I haven't. Why not? Well, I called on him publicly uh, through the media yesterday. I called on him um, 
publicly uh, today. I've uh, I've talked with elected officials who have had direct. I I guess here's the answer to that, Jonathan. My council member, who I vote for and elect and represents me in my tiny ward in the city of Tonawanda, was my first phone call. Okay. And he said, I'm going to talk to the mayor and I'll get back to you. That's that's the route that I took. So I know that there, no one's prepared here to give a big speech, but I, that's the way government works. You talk to your representative, and then he spoke with the mayor who's in charge of the city. And um, as of yesterday at about 4 or 5 o'clock, the mayor said, uh, we're going to do a ceremony now on Monday morning, um, and we're going to put something in place, but I'm not closing uh, because alleged labor issues. Now, again, it just doesn't make sense that if you close the city and treat it as a holiday, you'd have serious labor issues. But that's something that could have been worked out, as he claims he has been, over the last four months. Like last year. There was a memorandum of understanding last year with the former mayor. I, I'm not sure all the details of it, but he worked something out last year to observe the holiday. Um, I don't know why the same thing wasn't taken the bull by the horns earlier this year to get that same type of thing in place. What does that say in terms of, um, I mean, every municipality has their way of, of, of moving forward, but you know, we just came from the city of Buffalo where there's this massive parade and we're seeing all these type of people. There's this um, different opinions and the way that we're doing things differently. What does that kind of say about us, Western New York as a region? Of course, that being said, you can run your municipality how you see fit, but just as a bird's eye view, if it seems a little disjointed. Well, this, the state of New York uh, put in place the Juneteenth as a state holiday only two years ago. And, the, and President Biden just did it uh, in 2022. So this is kind of a newer thing nationally and, and regionally and statewide. So I think people are starting to just understand the importance of it right now, you know? Um, so I think you're gonna see it grow. Um, some people I spoke to uh, can, said that this is similar to the, to the um, MLK Day holiday, that similar things were said back then. Well, it wasn't right back then to not celebrate that holiday and it isn't right now to, to not be fully embracing Juneteenth. Um, it, as I said, it's the right thing to do. You want to say something? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So any anything, I'll come back if you need me, but. <laughs> we just start with your name and title too, just for all of us. Sure. Uh, Kevin Hardwick, Erie County Comptroller. Um, in addition to being the controller of Erie County, I'm also a resident for the last 33 years of the city of Tonawanda. Uh, unlike Jeremy, I was uh, I was not born and raised here. I was I was uh, born in the Binghamton area. Graduated from the same high school as the uh, Buffalo shooter. Um, that really hit home for me. It hit home, and it hit home. I know Mayor John White. I coached Little League baseball with him back in the day when we were both a lot younger, Tonawan American Little League days. I, I'm, I'm sure that he wants to do the right thing. I understand, I do understand his rationale. You know, labor negotiations are tricky and this sort of thing needs to be worked out. And the fact that he's only been mayor for less than six months, I think probably plays into this. And I think in the end, he'll do the right thing. And I did text him earlier this afternoon and encouraged him. I told him that I understood his rationale and that that I uh, I thought people would understand if even at this late time he would make a difference. He would make a difference for all of us in this community. You know, Juneteenth celebrates that moment in time in June of. 1865, June 19th, 1865, when federal troops told slaves in Texas that they were free. Now this, this happened two months after the end of the Civil War. Appomattox was April. Two months after the end of the Civil War. Two months after the emancipation. I mean, let me, let me take a run at this again. That happened, that happened two months after the end of the Civil War with Lee's surrender to Grant at Appomattox Courthouse. It happened two years 
after the Emancipation Proclamation. And here in 2022, it should only take about two minutes to determine that this is the right thing to do. And, and I, I do believe that my friend, the mayor of the city of Tonawanda, John White, um, will in the end do the right thing. And I hope he, he does it sooner rather than later. And again, I would encourage him to do so. Thank you. Any other questions or any, any comments? Even though tomorrow, uh, you know, tomorrow comes, no, you know, it's nothing, you know, it's not done, but are you just like hopeful that next year, like maybe do you think it'll just take a lot more time, I guess, then to really just kind of get that ball rolling or something, things like that? Well, I'm still hopeful about tomorrow. First of all, I, I, there's a communication systems put in place where you can let everyone of the city uh, city employees know that the city is going to observe and close tomorrow. But if it doesn't, I am really hopeful that the mayor will have a plan in place for next year. Again, I don't know the mayor personally. Um, I'm sure his heart's in the right place here, uh, but actions need to take place these days. Hearts are not enough. And, and wanting to do the right thing is a hell of a lot different than doing the right thing and taking action. Our government cannot sit by anymore. We've got people's lives at stake literally when you make the wrong moves here. Um, so I'm hoping that there's a plan in place. I know our council members will be working hard to, to make sure that that's in place next time. Um, throwing this on the backs of uh, the labor movement and saying, well, there being an impediment here is just ridiculous. I've gotten calls from people who are members of unions here in the city of Tonawanda uh, who are, it's ridiculous that, that that's what the excuse is. Did the labor, sorry, did the, the labor unions push for Juneteenth? That, that'd be the other side of flipping it on, it, on, on its head. Were they, it, it, you know, whether, whether they were a, 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 an obstruction a, a, or, or an impediment, were they a force pushing? I don't think that it's their role to say we want Juneteenth off as a holiday. It's part of a negotiation. Don't they represent you know, the workers? It's a federal and state and county holiday. It should be included as a holiday. I don't know that they have, I mean, they, if I don't know that they're supportive of it, of it, but that's besides the point. The point is that the city should be implementing the state and federal and county holiday. Any other concerns? Anyone have anything they want to add? So just to clarify, as of right now, there will be something tomorrow at 4 p.m., but the city is not closed for... Is it 9 a.m.? 9 a.m.? 9 a.m.? But, but the city will not be closed. So that's where we stand as of right now. As of right now, I think so, no. yes. That's what we know. That's what the council what members are communicating with me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.